Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 12th question from Read Code Expert 52 questions. So given three tables, uh, table 1 is uh, students, table 2 is subjects and table 3 is examination. You have to find write a solution to find out number of times each student attended each exam. So what I mean by that is there are three tables. We have information about a student ID name in the from the student table. And we have information about the subjects, all the subjects and the exams which, which are attended, examination table attended by the students uh, on these subjects. Uh, note that not all people uh, attend not uh, all the exams, right? And there are, there are scenarios where student also attend more than once uh, in each subject. So you have to print out that information. So if you see here, student ID uh, 1, a name is this, and he has attended math three times. He has attended math three times. If you see this one time, so or maybe I'll go to top. Student ID 1, which is this, one time, two times, and third time. So he has attended three times the math subject. And there are scenarios where students might have not attended the exams. You don't see this record in the examination table. Examination table. 2, Bob physics, you don't see for Bob, 2 is programming and math, you don't see. We need to print out, the, we basically need to show in the console output, but with a zero value. And we also, there, there is a user Alex, uh, he has not attended any of the exams. You don't find 6 here in the examination. So what they are asking is, they are asking us to uh, print out uh, the result table should contain all students and all subjects. Uh, problem is you will not find all students and all subjects in the examination because not all student attended. There will be obviously there will be in when, you, when you look at an university level which has let's say 100 students and there are 10 subjects. Not all 100 students attend all 10 subjects, right? There will be some, some student obviously they will miss out the exams. So, but what they are asking is, is to print out all students, all subjects. So, if a student has attended more than once or once, whatever it is, you should give the count. If he has attended once, you have to give the count. If he has attended more than once, you have to give that corresponding count. If he has not attended any other subject, you have to give as a zero. So, that is how they are asking us to print out. So, that's how they are asking. So, how do I join? Basically, I have to join this table, student table uh, and subjects table. So this problem, this problem can be solved using cross join and left join. We need cross join and left join. Cross join is also called Cartesian join. So what cross join says is, okay, no matter, so no matter what this student has attended or not attended, what we have to do is, we just have to join these two tables. Um, how do I join? I just use Cart Cartesian or cross join. So for this, what all possibilities? He he will attend all the exams, right? I mean, he may not have attended, but for him to, uh, there is a chance, right, to, to all, all the possibilities. This student can attend all three exams. He might have not attended or not attended, it's okay, but he can attend all three subjects. This is one row. So second, again, what I'll do is, I'll basically bring this at each user level. So I'll have to concatenate this and this somehow to bring for each level, for each user, there are three records because there are three subjects. If there are four, there will be four. For this user, can have all three exams for this user he can have all three exams and so on and so forth so let's let's see how it looks like what i'll do is i'll just uh, write a query select star from the students table you you by looking at visualizing it you will understand better i'll say cross join subjects table so if you visualize and see what uh, it what i'm trying to say here is I'll get the combination, all, all possibilities. This is the output. What I'm saying is, okay, so if you see user 1, for user 1, all three subjects, you'll see all three. He, it is showing in red because the output is not expected in the form of red. That's a, the output, is, there is a mismatch, that's why it is saying red. Don't ignore about the color. He can attend all three subjects. Again, Bob. Again, for all the users, you get for all the users you get a Cartesian or cross join. This is the first step. So we got all the users have a possibilities of attending all these exams. Now, what you have to do is I'll also give alias uh, here. This is subject. Uh, so sorry, students. This is subject. This will be 
uh, and I, I got one table this imagine this is one table this is one table imagine these two output of this is one table that is what we need we need all the all the students and all the subjects we have this we have the all the students and all the subjects right now now what we have to do is we just have to join with people who attend really attended the uh, exams uh, on different subjects so all you have to do is where do i get the uh, where do you get who are all attended the exams on for one any, any of the subjects i get in an examination table i'll talk take this left join which is e on on uh, here if you see here I, I have to join these two now i have to get the corresponding student and corresponding subject details right if i join just join again there will be many many uh, row records i have to get the corresponding student and corresponding subject not just uh, not just all the subjects uh, if if we have not attended that's fine the uh, you know you, you 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 can make that as zero but we have to join in a way that uh, that this informations are matched this user this um, uh, user id name and subject we should we should get that information here so on student id student table s s dot uh, i'll take it two times so which is student id s which is this and then examination should which is this i've joined this and this is on 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 student id student id now i also have to join on subjects because subject is also because it has to be matched here this this information bo both both thing has to be matched student id and corresponding subject corresponding subject not uh, if you just join again there will be multiple records so corresponding uh, information ab about that subject we also have to join so we have subject 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 name equals examination subject name now i'll get more more further more information so uh, sorry and this further elaborated version of the data you know you get a extra information student id this is from this table this is from this table this information is from this table not all user might have attended so that's the reason at, at, at some place you see this is this is from cartesian cartesian information but you don't find that information about this user for this subject that's the reason you will find null null if you find so bob has not attended physics that's the reason you don't see the user two or physics here that's when you see null null here so which is which is what we uh, you know if we are not attended we just make sure that it, it is zero so but information which he has attended so we will take a count so we got all the data what is required now we have all we have to do is count how many times each user has attended and along with the required information by using group by so let's uh, visualize guys visualize this table what i'm trying to say um, so that you will understand what is the meaning so let's take what all things they need they need student id okay i'll print out student id they also need student name okay now they need subject this is what subject is and they also need count uh, before that before the count i'll i just need uh, your help uh, you know student id i'll take it from i'll not take it i, I have two information i I also have a uh, student ID here, which is in this table. This information is coming from this table, examination table. I'll take a student ID of S table, table S, which, because we they, we need all the subjects, all the subjects who are attended. Uh, uh, sorry, all the student IDs. We need all the student ID. That's the reason I'm taking all the student IDs, right? All the student ID. I'll take it. Student name. Student name is also I'll take it from here, which is student name is in the same one only one table. But again, subjects are in two tables. Subject is in subject table and also subject is in examination table which one should i take 
if I take this one, there are there will be many nulls. But the object used to print out all the subjects, right? There, there will be many null values here. If you see, there are null values. So that's the reason. What you have to do is we have to take the subjects which are from the subject table itself, because that's what that's where you get all the combination of the subject. That's the reason we have to print out this. However, we have to count. This is a big cache. We have to count the count. Also important here, if you see how many times each student has occurred the examination, right? Attendees as attendees. Now, should I should I use this or should I use this? This is where the confusion is. So, I we have to use this because that's where the student has attended. This is for printing all the possible consequences. He might have attended, he might have not attended. But actually, who you have to find out the count who have attended the exams right that's where i get the information about that student who has attended from here so that's the reason we have to take from e examination e dot subject this is very very important this is this is where a lot of students get confused you know should i take this subject or this subject we have to take because we get all the information about the people who got attended who attended the exams here we get all the possible subjects here we get people who get, who actually have attended the exams as this now group by group by group by on what group by on student name on all three let's see i should not group by on this e dot subject let me know what you if you group by and what is the output you get it i should group by on only the subjects which are for all the all the possible con combinations all right i got the results maths three times i also got physics as zero fair enough fair enough but the order is not in the in the form which they are expecting they are expecting us to math to have first and also i think id so they have i somewhere mentioned the order by result also should be order by student id and subject name so I'll just mention order by order by student ID, which is this is what I need. Student ID, comma subject. That's all. I think we are almost there. And yes, it is got accepted. Let's submit. Test got passed. Let's submit. All right, it got accepted. So it is very simple, guys. If you visualize, let me know what you think. What what if I change this to what if I this change this to subject? Explain me in a better way uh, than what you what what I explain. If I change this, what if I change because I have option option to change as well, right? What if I change here as well? Uh, uh, you know, here I, I can I can have e dot e dot. What 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 is that I get? What is the error you see in the in the output expected output? Uh, let me know in the comments. What if I what if I also take e dot subject name? There are possibilities, right? I I've already explained this, but let me know in detail. Uh, visualize this. Uh, try to visualize and and see how what what I'm trying to say, and you will understand better. Uh, this is if you understand this uh, concept. Of cross join when it is used along with the left join. So uh, again, group by again we are doing on two 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 tables uh, columns. So you can write a very complex queries. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.